They say the nigga, hey, the nigga that killed that boy Trump, well, I think he gonna get off. And they they why, blood they, they, was on the leash, and she ain't had no restraining order. Blood, that's a crime of passion. Mm -hmm. They whack. They say he at home. They gonna right. get off. They they say blood came in there beating the broad up, and trouble jumped in, and he popped blood one time, so he didn't even overkill it. Just popped him once. So nigga, that's a crime of passion. Mm -hmm. Look, what is niggas doing in other men's houses? Blood going to bleak. You supposed to go in, in the middle of the day, hit her with her face facing the door, doggy style, with the burn on the small of her back, my nigga. <laughs> Man, that nigga's a whole and robber, nigga. Right, he right, she still. If How was you go, going in the nigga the house room. blood and going to bleed? I'm supposed to just go get a room. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I, but is you going in the nigga house for a bleed? Because she bleep, sucked him to sleep. That's the part they didn't nah, I ain't no, that's a weak nigga. Ain't He's no bitch. Still. I'm not going to bleep up the head. I'm shocked. <laughs> bitch, even get to talk about spending that night. I think you trying to line me up, bitch. Let me get a body if I do something to you for no reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang, you would do but something for no reason. No, for no, no reason. I know they ain't got no chance to live with this. They only been separated for what a week. Yeah, what I'm trying to tell you. They wasn't That's separated. They was going through something. Yeah, <laughs> and they get paranoid <laughs> quick. She was out of pocket. Uh, man. Come on, blood. Like, come on. They said just three days ago, a week ago. He, they, what, but what is blood? See. It's obviously he been hitting the bitch even when she was with the other nigga. That's obvious, yeah. right? Yeah. So you know that the nigga like gets his spot. What is you doing going to sleep in this nigga's spot? <laughs> that's a fact. You feel me? Like, my nigga, that's out. <laughs> nigga just wilding for that. They losing their life over some pussy. It probably wasn't even all that good. Blood could have went home and jacked off. Blood still been alive. <laughs> oh, God. <my laughs> <nigga. laughs> Whack ain't never lied, dude. Yeah, yeah, let me reiterate that part. So when we were trying to put the pardon together, I said, we was trying to just get information on my father. So we, she had some actual footage of him. We, like, asked the attorneys, would that be good to have this footage to put on this pardon? They're like, yeah, that'll be good. Let's see if we can try to do it. We tried some numbers. We caught up with the lady, and I called, and I asked her. I was like, oh, we need some of that footage because we're trying to put this pardon together. And she told me, she said, well, who go get paid for this? Well, how am I going to get paid for this? And I'm like, wow, this is about my father's freedom right here, and you want to know who's going to get paid for this footage. Mm. You know, so... I don't know where she feels like she was um, really caring about our family, but um, she wanted to know who was going to get paid while we was trying to get this package together for this part. And then moving forward after that, that's around the time Kanye hit, went to the White House not too far before the end or after that. She seen that it was a buzz and my father's name was fresh in people's heads. And that's when she come from behind a rock somewhere, looking like it was an opportunity. Kanye reached out to her to try to get the footage again some years later. And I don't know where it happened at, but somehow Wack wound up in the middle of the mix. Nothing to do with none of them. When they brought me to the table, they brought me to the table, they say, Wack, she trying to get her thing out there. We know you do a lot of TV and this, 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 that, another. Can you help her with the thing and make sure she's straight, she don't get so wax the one that saw it. I'm like, well, damn, Yay doing the Larry Hoover. Let me put Yay with her. Maybe they could do something together. See, this I don't want to talk about this. Wax the one really even exposed the fact that it's over here. Y'all ain't heard nothing about this lady come out of Jay Prince's mouth or none of the, the Hoover family mouth. This was done in 1998. Ain't nobody, you ain't heard no press, you ain't heard no demands, you ain't heard no nothing. But now I'm the bad guy. I should have just shut the and let her just put it out and discover it that way. When Larry Hoover signed the contract, was the contract yep. under the pretense that some of the footage would get back to the family? I've never seen the contract so direct in my life. The contract gave Karen all the right. And when I tell you all the rights, with no time restraints, no restrictions for audio, both foreign and domestic, television, uh, commercial, as well as to be edited at her discretion. Now, you got to remember, at the time he did this, this Jay Prince is leading the people to believe Whack got what we need to free Larry Hoover. If that's the case, this 
got done 24 years ago. Why you ain't pursued it one time? Where you been on pursuing this? It came to Wack. You know what Wack did? Wack didn't take it and go do a deal. Wack got on the phone here, Kanye. I said, yo, I know you got this Larry Hoover movie going. I'm sitting with this lady right now. She got this. She doing prison reform. She got the contracts. It's her. Maybe y'all want to come together and do something. He said, why can I see it? I went on FaceTime. She opened up her laptop. Ye looked at about 15, 20 minutes. He said, God damn, that shit clears. I said, well, she got receipts showing that she kept it in a refrigerated life storage to, you know, preserve them up. He like, yeah, Wack, we need to do something with that, right? I said, all right, well, let me know what you want to do. If not, she's going to continue on with what she's doing. She didn't ask me to call Kanye. She didn't oh, ask you to do none of that. If it wasn't for Wack, they wouldn't even know his face. The middleman for her because she didn't want to speak to us. First, he was just the middleman for her because she didn't want to speak to us. But then, next thing you know, he's a partner in the whole situation. This is his footage, he got it, and blah blah blah. So, yeah, what, what this clown, what this clown done, you know, head up like we right here, he was somebody else, you know what I mean? He portrayed to be, oh, I'm down with y'all. Only reason I wanted to talk to him, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt for my brother because it's serious business, right? So I embraced that, I entertained that, and uh, you know, in retrospect, when I hear him take a different position, like he was partners with her and this and that the whole time, I'm like, oh, so this, this nigga one of them kind of niggas, well, all money, good money with him. You know what I mean? Everybody go. You know, I'm from the school where everybody don't go. You know what I mean? And when you're playing with a man, freedom, like that, and everybody go, then, you know, I take that real personal. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I love the hip-hop culture. You know, I, I put in a lot of work where the hip-hop culture is concerned. I blaze the trail. You know what I mean? And when I see one, you know, trying to shit on Tupac, trying to shit on Nipsey, trying to shit on homie big you out there trying to shit on master p a good nigga real niggas you know meek mill you know i, I see a nigga get on a, a podcast and with a with another rat and go off on 21 savage like oh this nigga got diarrhea at the mouth he, he like full of shit right he he the type of nigga that will shit in the bed and blame it on the baby <laughs> you know how we do